Afternoon guys, Tony back again, Horror in Todge, another quick pick up video I've got this week, sorry I've got a bit of a cold so sound a bit rubbish but go through them and uh, see what you think, so first one is the Perkepsi tapes, I've heard some good stuff about this but never actually saw it and it's quite expensive in England, uh, so I ordered it from America for £16, delivered. So it's a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, brand new. So yeah, I'll definitely try and watch this over the weekend, see what um, all the fuss is about, but looks quite good. Second one, eBay purchase, Scream Factory. Bad Dreams, Visiting Hours, double feature. Uh, I think I won this for £4.20. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Uh, give this a watch. Bad Dreams I've seen before. It's a really good film. And Visiting Hours is meant to be very good too. So, yeah, pleased with that. That was cheap. This one. Monkey Shines. Um, I was going to buy it last week from HMV for, I think it was £15 or there was two movies for 25 but I decided against it. And I won this on eBay for £7.50. Brand new. With a slip cover. So, I'm happy with that. It's a bit cheaper than in the shops. And it looks... Uh, it's a brilliant film from what I remember. It's quite a fun time. Uh, excuse me. So, yeah. Give that a watch. It's another good one. The next one is... one that's been out of print a long time. DVDs. It's not Blu-rays, but... Glad to have it in the collection. It is the Fantastic... What's it called again? Fantastic Factory. So you get Faust, Rome Santa, Beyond Reanimator, Beyond Reanimator, and Arachnid in here. And I paid uh, nineteen ninety nine for this, which I didn't think was a bad price. And you get all this lot. So you get a cool box with the um, what do you call it? Window box, isn't it? So it's the DVDs, the white ones that you get. There's your Faust. The DVDs are quite good to be fair, what I saw of them. The good transfers and stuff. Beyond Reanimator, which I love this series. I could do it coming out on Blu-ray to be fair. That's that Roma, Roma Santa, I think that's how you say it. Never saw this, but it was a cool movie. Let me watch it. This is the brilliant um, Arachnid. Great film. Look at that. Yeah, the DVD covers are cool. And you get a nice little uh, Arrow video book showing you all the old DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff. But yeah, pleased to have that. It's a cool one. And this is probably the best purchase this week. I bought it for £1.80 off ebay three quid postage so i got some of them i might already have because they're only dvds but if i have i'll just give them away or end up giving a prize on this channel or something with a load vacancy two i've never seen this one I saw number one i quite liked it for the best but i don't know what this is like but haven't seen this one either Clive Owen, it's a rental copy. Intruders. I don't think I've seen this anyway. I might have. It might have been on Sky or something, but I can't remember it. Remember seeing this in the cinema years and years ago. The number 23. Can't really remember what it was about though. But I know uh, Jim Carrey lost his mind, obviously. But. Quite cool to have. St 
Stephen King's Desperation. Never heard of this one either. But give this one a go. Stephen King normally loves his movies, to be fair. So definitely give that one a go. Quarantine, I've got that. It's good. It's not a bad movie. It's okay. The fields, I don't know whether it's called reticulated cover. Um, I don't know if this is any good. Tara Reed might not be good with her involved, but <laughs> it's another maybe sort of B movie. Oh, it looks okay. It might be all right. Give it a watch. Skinwalkers. I don't know if I've got this or not. Another articulated case, look. I think I might have this, but I've never watched it. Based on true events. Looks a bit like an alien type movie, obviously. Uh, found footage. Looks quite good. Don't mind the found footage movies at the minute, to be fair. So, definitely that one. And another alien movie. With a slip cover, Alien Abduction. I have got this as well, I think. But not with a slip cover. So, for £1.80, for those movies, not the greatest selection of movies, but I should think not the worst. But I thought that was quite good. I think it was like, yeah, like I said, £3 postage. So, under a fiver. It's quite cool. Uh, yeah, and that's it this week, guys. A few more bits in the post, what I've won, but um, I'll keep you up to date with that when I get a few more in. Tell me what you think of it, guys. If you've got any of them, if you've sort of seen any of the films, if they're any good, if they're really bad, always tell me in the comments and uh, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.